Hello and welcome to this video where I show you Windows 10 Preview working on this Advent 5431 which basically means it's an unbranded machine sold by Currys. Here's a keyboard and things came with Windows Vista being a 2008 machine and a Pentium dual core. There's your lovely Vista logo. As we will see here We've got a CPU meter designed for Windows 8. Now when I run a HD video on here, we will see it jumps up to about 100% CPU usage. Um, this is running no antivirus or anything, and running the video through Google Chrome. 80% of the RAM. Two gig it's got 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM at 800 megahertz, but the laptops limited it to what's it 533 megahertz because it doesn't seem to support 800 megahertz. It's running a 1280 by 800 display. The video I was running was just 1080p. I know I won't see the full advantage through the screen, but it's a good test of the hardware. It's a Pentium T3200, which is a Core 2 Duo based Pentium. Basically, it's a Core 2 Duo with less cash, one megabyte in this case. So here we have Asphalt 8 Airborne running on my machine. It's hard to believe this is a six year old machine now, if I'm honest. Here's my Dodge Dart. Let's play and do some kind of race. Just to see how the gaming performance is on here. Oh dear, the loading doodah there is lagging. That's not a good sign. And there's reflections all over the screen. Turn the brightness up. I've turned the sound off for copyright reasons. So that YouTube doesn't get angry. Oh dear, I crashed. As you can see, it runs quite well on here, on this lowly hardware. I've got no graphics card. And in case I didn't mention, the hard drive is a 160 gigabyte 5400 version. And I've forgotten how to drift, it seems. Boost. I forgot all the controls. We sliding. Ah, so control is break, down is drift. Good, good, I'm getting a hang of it now. Boost. The space is boost. We drift. That was a takedown, thankfully. I think that's enough. Good. Come on. Oh dear, you saw my promo code. It's the exact same one used on the Nexus 4, so I'm not worried about using it. Okay, so now I've sorted the sound out. Good. Arrow keys to move left or right. The game is working well. This computer has been amazingly reliable for 
an unbranded machine. The only thing that's gone wrong as of yet is the battery, which stopped working and then inflated itself. And now I've got a new battery in here. Considering it's a budget machine and for its age, it runs wonderfully cool. It's really well built. Just a good machine overall. I mean, honestly, it's, it's amazing how cool it runs, even when you've got the processor at 100% with a 1080p video, it just keeps on going and it's lovely. Build quality is also amazing. I thought it was terrible on my Acer. I feel like I'm repeating myself, probably because I am. Caravan train. Yeah, this game is exactly as I remember it on mobile, but the graphics do seem slightly better on PC. I mean, if I weren't using dual monitors, this would still be a perfectly fine machine for me today. Although I always want more because I'm never satisfied. Like the phone game, only so much easier because you're not sure, you're not like confused by the way it's sliding and stuff. The controls are really clear and easy to use. The mobile game, you swipe left and it sometimes thinks you swiped up. Did he just go, he's going through cars how, and trucks, how is that even possible? It is a game, son. It does not need to follow the boundaries of reality. And there I failed. Which would make this the end of the video. So thanks for watching. And a Merry Christmas to everybody. My mind has suddenly stopped working because it thinks I've stopped recording. Goodbye everyone.